Hey, you already are. And today we have a new update. We we'll probably won't get into it, but we'll we might talk about it. So there's a new merge block. You can convert station to station, and if you hit escape key, it actually shows you the update, which is kind of cool. Yep. Oh, colored cockpit. That's kind of neat. Still no reflective glass in the cockpit. Yeah, that's a bummer. And then did some more multiplayer code refining. So yeah, the big one is, I guess, the merge block and the convert to ship block or option, right? We could yeah. theoretically t convert our station into a large ship and fly away. <laughs> <laughs> Though it would explode so violently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it, it <laughs> but has <we> other uses. <laughs> but today we're not going to really uh, dive into any of that new stuff. We want to get some more infrastructure into our station. So we don't really have a good storage area yet. We have these storage containers over here for the grinders, but they weren't really meant to be our storage area. More so just a temporary storage for those parts. And then we yeah. would move them into the main station. So that's what we want to work on today. We've picked out a location for our storage area. And it's right where you see all these blocks. Right up here. So right. we kind of talked about it a bit yeah. before the episode, just planning some stuff out. And I think we're ready to go ahead. We don't have too much time today, so you guys are just stuck with us while we build for a little while. Hopefully that's okay. Yes. And speaking well, about not having much time, that is the reason as for uh, why we were unable to unload uh, Thursday's episode. It was yeah. simply that uh, the time zones... Once again, uh, we have very different time zones, and we simply couldn't uh, find a good time uh, to record uh, Thursday's episode. Yeah, either one of us can make it and the other one can't, or vice versa. There's just no... There's very limited time when there's an overlap of kind of free time. Yeah. When it's early morning for me right now, it's evening for jars, and when it's evening for jars, it's... yeah. So, it's a little difficult, but we try our best, and most of the time we can manage. But these episodes do... We're starting to take a lot longer, too, because we're trying to do more in them. So that yes. requires even more time. So we might have to change up the format a bit. So there may be some changes coming in the future. But hopefully you'll still enjoy the content, nonetheless. We shall continue Ooh. producing content forever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're out of ideas. Cool. All right, so what do we do? We made a wall. We made a, a wall. So do we actually continue all the way over here? Hmm, we could do. I don't know. So we want... How do we want to transition up? With some more stairs? Stair ramps? So what does the ramp take? Interior plates, that's nice, because I do actually have interior plates. Oh, good. As do I. So where should we put it? We have this glass, too, going down the middle. Our typical... <sighs> walkway and we do want to make use of that still but it does it can end at some point too so if we, I think that would work so what if we do this this and have the stairs up here we could also move it back uh, one block so oh that yeah so it's recessed uh yeah maybe that way if you're coming up the left side of the stairs you don't have to back up Whee! yeah and this gravity generator will it's likely going to get moved, so it's, it's okay if it's in the way. Uh, but I guess it actually could stay if we wall it <laughs> in, like... Yeah, it looks like it could. Even if we put another ramp there, if so we, we have... wanted. Yeah, even uh, if we put in more ramps. No, that's good. Yeah, I like that. But I like this uh, idea right here because Ooh. it okay, gives us the the ledge up here so the reason we are putting a wall slash ledge whatever you want to call it up here is so that we have a really nice place to look uh, over the uh, showcase area yeah uh, as it's well giving me. us room for the storage area in the back here Cool. I have an idea, Jars. What do you think? Like, we got this glass thing that's going this way, right? And we're going to have something in it that we know what's going to be in it. Yes, we know. And they probably do, too. What if we continue <laughs> that up the um, up here and maybe move the ramp over a bit more to the right so this glass would come here and it would go up and it would oh. continue up here on the platform? 
and then it could turn towards the storage unit for no apparent reason. For no apparent no. reason. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They can't figure it out. I've been like hovering conveyor blocks in front of my face. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. <laughs> so we could do that. And then, yeah, we'd have a three section and we'd have to move the stairs over a bit more. But that could work. You like that? I do like that. With, that seems very cool. So up. And with, up. with the curved conveyors, it works pretty nice too compared to what we had to do last time. So the question is, where are these blocks? They are like that, so they can be right there. Now, can we actually place the glass in a way that will actually allow us? Because if we place a oh. glass uh, block right uh, in this position, we can't place right. glass on both sides here. Mm hmm. What could we do about that? We need more glass blocks. We need a corner, <laughs> <laughs> inverted corner. Uh, ooh, uh, we could we could make it a ramp. Um, is there is there a block that goes that way? Window mm -hmm. one slope. So? Yeah, kind of like that, but with the glass. And oh, if we could put those slopes on the sides. Yeah, uh, uh, they can see it on my screen. I don't have a block to place it, but if you take the one by one slope, one by one slope, we take it, yeah, and then we put the corners on those on the sides, so it's closed off. Yeah, yeah. Either, oops. Oh, the glass or the light is in the way. Yeah, that'll work, I guess. <laughs> yeah, like that sort of deal. Uh, yeah, we could also put the glass sides in if we want to. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, but I, I don't yeah, think we could see which. We could yeah. see what looks what looks good. What looks best. Cool. Okay, so that works. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. The thoughts of ideas are combining. <laughs> <Don't want> <laughs> Uh, All right, I'll stop that there, but the conveyors. Okay, yeah. well, maybe I'll keep them going because we do want them to go into the storage. So I'll get rid of these. Continue, though we will see the glass. Mm hmm. Or the so grab gen, the grab gen. Below oh, there. right. Okay, so we might have to move it after all. I, it doesn't really hurt to see it. Per se, it might actually be a little bit cool. Oh yeah, to it's see like a little some something stuff below. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Where should our center line be for our storage? Should we make it this yellow stripe, or do we want to move it over a bit to the left? Uh, or do we have to? I guess we have to because the stairs are pretty much still there. What stairs? Just about. Oh, that that's. Uh, the... Yeah, the, I think the yellow strip is right here. So it would be so we probably want the entrance into the storage room somewhere over here yeah somewhere where we over stopped here. what do we say if we continue building out the platform a bit so we have a continued wall right here so we have the uh, outer wall here we could of yeah. course expand it out if we need to right that's pretty good yeah we just had those so we'll probably end up closing in the refinery here. So yeah, I think some of you wanted us to kind of finish this top floor off and we will get to it, but we're gonna have to do it in parts. So like we, we knew we wanted to put a storage room somewhere. We weren't quite sure where yet, but I think once it's in place, yeah, that looks good. Once it's here, I think that'll probably be the whole upper area. And then we can look at kind of enclosing this whole thing in. And then, yeah, I don't think we'll have, we'll see. I don't know if we'll have any more stuff up here but we could have some more stuff underground still. But we can make the top look kind of finished. So I'm just... Okay, so you got one unit there. Okay, so that would be the center. How much space do you think we should have between... If we have none, uh, they will be automatically connected to each other uh, via a conveyor system. Right. And we will still be able to access them. So we could just have a one, just one wall of them, then, on one side. 
So we could do, yeah, exactly, just have one wall. And we can see at the back side. Oh, now I can't reach, of course. What if I do this? Can we have, if we have one here? I guess we could. Move. Oh, I see. I'll wrap them around. On the back, we could do that. Or, as you say, have rows of them. Hmm. I don't know. We'll do either way. I was thinking if we had just um kind of stacked on top of each other. Um, oh, on top of each other. As well, and then we could have like catwalks, maybe, to get to the upper areas. But a similar layout to that yellow ship we grinded, if you remember what that looked like. Oh. When we were inside, it had that kind of catwalk feel with storage units around and there was an upper level and a lower floor so we could kind of have a similar thing going here you walk in here there's storage units on either side of you but then you can also go up top and there'll be more storage units and we can make make a catwalk and stuff but as jars pointed out we don't really need to get access to these too much i mean we can, you can get into any inventory from any other inventory connected to the same um conveyor system anyway and move items around that way but sometimes it is nice to just physically look into a container instead yeah. of scrolling through menus and yeah, trying to find that specific storage. So we could I don't know. do this. And we could also do this and then have a third row. Which would okay. be here, I think. That leave us one. It's tight. It's claustrophobic. It's... <laughs> It's yeah, okay. this might be way too claustrophobic. Ooh, what if we do it like that? Um, like have it open. So keep that one where you have it. This one? And continue back. Uh, yeah, I'll get out of your, I'll get out of the way. Whoop. And j and then we could turn like you were turning as well. So instead, we just have a U shape of storage. Would that work? Are these positioned? Oh, not quite. Not quite. We could move so one of the rows in one block. Yeah, or out one block. Or out one block. I'd say out. And then it's like a perfect, it's like a, basically a three and then two, is it? Uh, could we... So three deep. And we could go four deep if we wanted. We could go four deep, yeah. So four. I mean, we could even do this and we just have one that we can't directly access. And they should connect up. So then we just have a U of storage. And then we could go two high or three high if we wanted. And that would be <laughs> a lot is, of storage. Can we... Do I not have... Why can I not place you there? Because that's why. You can only place blocks on the inventory sites. Or on the inventory openings. Can you place three like this? Or no, they will be hidden. Oh, I see. And still be able to access? Yeah. But you couldn't. We would have to move it out one more block to do that. I see. And then we just need to add a little conveyor. Yeah, but I don't think we Corner want piece. to move out more because we are kind of uh, on the, uh, the stairs here. We're getting really close yep. to the stairs. Okay. So what about just this then? I mean, we could get rid of the corner ones and just replace them with conveyors if we wanted. If we want, since we can't directly access them, but... And then we could just have a catwalk. You could walk on the ground on the lower part, and a catwalk on the upper part. Yeah, and this is a lot of storage. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have to go capture 20 ships. Yeah. We could also not have the corner ones that we can't physically access and just put... Uh, conveyors between yeah okay okay with that yeah and then we can actually build the outside wall have a corner on the outside wall here a corner on the outside wall i'm trying uh, to place blocks oh, kind of somewhere to round it a bit yeah we could round it uh 
not like that. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. This is what I meant to do. Okay, yeah. You can totally kind of add a little bit more detail to the outside. Yeah. So it's not just a box. <laughs> yeah. At least some detail. Yeah. Well, good. And then we'll try to merge that down to the asteroid so it looks like it's just jetting straight up. You look gold. Indeed. Gold! Gold! I love gold. I'm going to go out on a limb and say we don't have enough stuff in Score Rabbit <laughs> to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Are you really, gonna... really, really sure? <laughs> I probably don't even have enough to do one. No, I don't even know what... Oh, I don't think we have any displays, actually. We don't have any interior plates. We had displays, but I am oh. low on energy. Interior oh, I'm welding without making noise. Oh, no, it's just not welding. <laughs> Never mind. Wait. You want to ch recharge and scrap it? Uh, or did you already take off? No, I'm here. I'll recharge you. All right, so, <laughs> so what do we need for these things? Interior, interior plates. Interior plate. Oh, while you're recharging, I guess... Do you want to just fly it over to our grinders? Sure. And we'll stock up on some stuff. And do we have time? Do we have time? We to have cut. some time. I think we <laughs> have time to cut. All right. So we will load up Scrabbit and maybe do some, some weldy weldy stuff and bring you back. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Do we have enough for the tubes? Should have. Like we have enough for four more large Oh true. Large things, so unless bulletproof glass. Oh, right. Bulletproof glass. I'll go fetch him. They look done, though. So it's all good. Mm. They technically are done. Hey, the they bulletproof are done. glass they work and everything. Just aesthetic. Optional. Optional. Yes, that's the right word. <laughs> and I brought more bulletproof grass than I need. Nice. Bulletproof grass. <laughs> <laughs> you get that in seven days to die. <laughs> can stop a bullet. <laughs> really? It does? Some fancy grass arm? Yeah, it does. <laughs> the bullet hits the grass, it breaks the grass instead of just going through it. It's fine. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> cool. Alright, guys, we're back. Uh, we finished welding up the containers. This is very easy with Scarabbit. Fantastic. All right, so now we're doing some more planning. We thought we'd bring you back. Uh, we've got our conveyor line going up here. And we were talking about how to connect it to the containers, and we decided to do it this away. So it just goes all the way around the corner. I think that looks good, Jarvis. It was a good decision. Yes, indeed. And then we put up this wall. Because we don't want to see our storage room. It's ugly. No, it's no. actually beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful, but it's a storage room. Yeah. So we're adding indoors. So Jaws suggested the the man doors that we have. We have one, I think. Is that all we have? So the far? man doors. Yeah, I think we have one that is completely <laughs> useless to the balcony. The balcony. Yeah. <laughs> the balcony. Oh, God. Perfect Strangers. It just reminded me of a show called Perfect Strangers. As a character called Balky. <laughs> Bal. Anyway. Uh, off topic. Uh, Way off topic. Who knows that show? <laughs> Kudos to you. So we, yeah, we've been messing with the interior wall, which we've never really used. Do we want to make it go like a U? Like we could just have it single path and have it go all the way down and wrap around and then connect back to the other door. So it looks like it's a, a U-shaped door or a U-shaped path. Like a, yeah, like a walkway kind of. Yeah. Okay, so I was like thinking to have um, one or two layers of armor blocks on the very outer edge here and then have the entire inside floor being interior walls. Sure. We could just paint it um, different. 
So we could paint a little U shape and still have. Yeah, okay. Or we could. I think um, actually it would be better to have what you said. Let's have see. the uh, walkway. Uh, well, why don't we do a little. Um, we could have a sample. I gotta get a drill because we gotta get rid of some asteroids. Oh, look. The door maker. Is this a good idea or a bad idea? I am not sure. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to find out. Oh, wait. Oh! Let's grab it. Get out of my way. I didn't even see that. Oh, my <laughs> God. I like, flew directly at it, and I didn't see it. That's incredible. It's the... It's uh, the... Uh, at least I bumped the landing legs. It's, it's the okay, flaw of the ship. You don't know where you're going. <laughs> It's great for making holes. But not orientate myself. when you know exactly where you want the hole. Mm. I want oh. the hole somewhere there. Then it makes like. a perfect hole. But <laughs> if I want a hole right there, then you're screwed. <laughs> Which is kind of what we want. Okay, I can't even tell how close I am. Uh, oh, I don't even have... You're not very close. Maybe we should do this by hand. Maybe. I'm not very... Hang on. I'm gonna do it. Are you ready? Oh god. Oh god. Oh, you're Bad not... Bad stuff's gonna happen. I don't know. Where On my I... screen, you're not even touching the asteroid. Oh, really? Okay. Do I have to go forward? Down? No, 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 no. no. Go, just go... That was a perfect height, actually, but you're not touching. It's still drilling, but you're not touching oh, the asteroid. Oh, I see. Just visually, it's not actually doing anything. Yeah. Yeah, so just keep going. Oh, well, whoops. Hmm. I, I wanted to go up, not forward. Ah. <laughs> Uh, I think this can is probably good enough. Now we can okay. trim out the stop. corners uh, or the edges. We can trim trim out by hand. All right, I will leave door maker up here. <laughs> <laughs> you take damage you get out of yours. Or if I think it's, I might have been moving still. So the dampener is turned on the thrusters, which burned my face as I exited the cockpit. <laughs> it's a dangerous ship. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, doggy's noise. Doggy Running noise. out of time. Now doggy's I can totally hurt it. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's two of them now, which is just compounding the problem. <laughs> All right. Oh, we also removed a couple of our storage units. So we had 20 to begin with. We're down to 18. No, 16? <laughs> oh, yeah, 16. <laughs> we got rid of four. So that means we're down. We got rid of four because it was a little too close to the stairwell. And if we wanted to have a bit more room to work some stuff in. We're also going to put a, a stairwell or something up, I think. We can see to get to the next level. We can think about yeah. that after. We can think get the, another time. Get the, <laughs> the this is not first. the time for thinking. <laughs> no time. Okay, so you place. I'll grab Scrabbit and try to finish those. So yes, yeah, what is that new block? Okay, so while we're doing this, we can talk about the update. So one of the big things was the merge block, which is pretty cool. It can actually yes. do what uh, we were showing in the app, the other episode, where Jars was taking off one of the the tools for this guy and replacing yeah. it with like a grinder. So we could theoretically do that with the merge blocks now and give this guy interchangeable hands. Maybe set up a a station where he could just you can quickly and easily change parts. Yeah, another cool feature is if you bisect a ship in half, like we did with our our ship eater, you can put them back together again, like yes. Humpty Dumpty. So that's always nice. So yeah, it's huge. Especially, I mean, it wasn't a big deal for us, but if you were building a huge ship that took you hours upon hours upon hours, and then an asteroid hit it or a meteor hit it and bisected it in half and you had basically no way of repairing it, you'd have to build the other half of the ship again. Yeah. But I guess you could end up with two ships that way. <laughs> They've reproduced, just like cells. Bacteria. <laughs> they divided. <laughs> uh, huh. The new copy-paste feature. Anyway, I'm rambling a lot. But yep. 
Oh, I like that the interior Stand block, still. Though. Still. <laughs> oh, sorry. Need parts? <laughs> yeah. I was trying to, <laughs> to grab them. Every time I almost had it, you moved. <laughs> it's like I was watching, but I wasn't. Ooh, I, I, I like can't, that. I can't weld this block at all. Weird. <laughs> With new multiplayer code comes new quirks, probably. I am hosting today. I don't usually host, but... I figured it was my turn. It's my turn to shine. But no, Jars' computer and what internet is going on? has been more suited for hosting. It I don't has. know. Okay. What is going on? I can't. I can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> is it doing a phantom weld? I don't know. It's welding, it but nothing is happening. Okay. I've had the opposite happen, where my torch isn't lit up, but it is actually doing work. I just do the, what is going on? <laughs> it's madness. He's got the space madness again, guys. We're gonna have to put him down. Space scurvy. <laughs> Eat an orange. <laughs> Should we weld up a bit more and then we'll just do a final farewell? I think that is what we'll do. So we did do some work. <laughs> uh, a little bit of work. It's not completely finished, but Morilvis, you added some designlish stuff here that looks cool. Yeah, so the wall was a little flat, so I just threw those on. We'll work with it, but um, I think we can tie it into the overall structure of this area, which I think is what we're going to hopefully do in the future, is try to enclose this whole area now and get a ceiling and roof and all that. But yeah. Try to finish off the base, give it the finished look. Yeah. All right, Jaws. Nice. Do we go inside? Give me a tour. Woohoo! I'll give you a tour. <laughs> <laughs> so you go to the door, and you open it, and you go through the door. Oh! You have to say, wow. It's impressive. Not really, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're in so the storage the room. <laughs> yeah. Good there tour. Is storage inside the uh, big boxes you can see here. Oh, that's how it works. Yes, I see. There is, so this one's for it? underwear. Yes. This one's for socks. Yes. And that these two are for say. pants because we have a lot of <laughs> pants and shirts. We have oh, yes. two. And then the rest of them are for the clones. Beautiful. <laughs> Excellent. We, so it's a, we store them in a, IKEA boxes. <laughs> a giant walk in closet is what we've created here, guys. <laughs> Whoa, you just flew Beautiful. straight through the wall. Oh, wow. I think Jars is. He's got some T sync issues, so. Maybe I shouldn't host. I'm uh, sorry. I think there is something odd with the multiplayer. I people were saying that strange stuff was happening. Ah, could be it. They do keep tweaking it, so stuff will change. Hopefully they get it all smoothed out. So I guess that's it for today. Is it Jaws? We did our storage. Uh, we'll have we to make it. it functional. I guess it's not really functional yet. It's not connected up. It's not completely the connected. Conveyor line yet. stops here. So we could work on that maybe in another episode as well. Get that all hooked up. And we could transfer all those items from the grinding area over to here. So I think that's about it. Wee! Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody.